G'day everybody, we're here today in Chiapas Marina in Mexico. We're only about 10 miles away from the border with Guatemala. We're going to wait here until we've got better weather to sail all the way down to Panama City, which is about a thousand nautical miles away. While we're waiting here, we've got four major boat projects we want to get done, all to do with increasing our boat storage heaps and heaps. So, let's get started. The first job we're going to do today is get access to this area. Now, if you might have seen our very first video, we built a countertop just inside here. We put a fridge underneath it, and we've also put our water maker down in behind. Now, we actually can't get access to this area, which was a cupboard before, very easily. We still can if we crawl underneath that cupboard and move a few little um, containers and things. But basically, we've bought this hatch, and we're going to cut out this bit of fiberglass and put it here. So now we'll have easier access, much easier access to this bit of storage from out here. I'm going to use the drill to do the corners and then a jigsaw. And I've already pre kind of stenciled it in, did it wrong and then <laughs> redid it. And I've also drilled the pilot holes. <laughs> what did you do? I've cut a hole in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so I've cleaned up a little bit and it took me a lot longer than I want to admit to fish this bit of fiberglass out from wherever it fell down into. But that's gone. So now to test if I cut it right. We were going to open it that way I think. Just, oh. uh, I think, I don't even know if it's enough in. Oh yeah. Hey, look at that. Yeah. So now we have easy access to all everything in there. Well, I mean, you gotta screw it in first. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lucky cut. I don't, know, I don't know if it's luck or if it's just proper measuring. Oh, fighting words. <laughs> if anyone's ever watched the first episode and <laughs> seen how many times it took someone to cut the right size hole for our sink. <laughs> yeah, ouch. Alright, get to drilling? Yep. Yeah. Right, so now that I know that it fits, I have pre-drilled where the screws are going to go. Because last time I screwed into fiberglass, one of the screws broke. So I always pre-drill now. And I put butyl tape around the screws and around the hatch on the inside so that it's nice and watertight. So that was another thing that took a lot longer than I anticipated because the amount of butyl tape I put on under this bit was way too thick so I couldn't squish it down. Uh, so I had to take it off, undo it all and redo it with a thinner amount. And now it's on well, screws are in and we're done. We've now got access to a whole new bit of storage. Okay, open it up. You can't see a thing. Oh, oh there you go. Ready? There you go. All that storage. And you can probably see right down the end there on the right was where we can access from in there. But it's a bit of an effort to get to. So this will be way easier. Now on to the next job. Yeah? Yep. You may be wondering what we're doing in a boat yard and not on the boat. Well, they have a nice little hut here where you can cut some stuff. I think you're allowed to use it. Where are you using it? There's no one around. <laughs> I've not hit things. Anyways, uh, we've measured this out. This is going to be the shelf that's going on top of the laundry machine. Uh, so we're, we're making these cuts and then we'll bring it back to the boat and we'll install it. Okay. 
can remember to set the saw correctly. So essentially that's what it's going to look like, kind of. Cool. And uh, it'll make a lot more sense when it gets on top of the washing machine. <laughs> I like it. Didn't really plan out walking back with all this wood. <laughs> Nice rods. Those are some massive fishing rods. Yeah. First try. <laughs> it's all together now. I uh, used wood to drill into on this side to put the screws in because this is just like particle board so it can't really hold together. Uh, I don't really know how long it's going to last, hopefully a little bit. Um, and on the other side, I put uh, like 90 angle pieces and then had to um, uh, cut the bolts because they were too short, too long. And then I, I, I had to cut them. Anyway, so this should fit onto the washing machine. I haven't tested it yet, so let's go test it. All right, if it doesn't fit, I'm not really sure how to adjust it to make it fit. So first time lucky. I guess it, I guess it fits. It does. <laughs> Looks great. So this isn't necessarily designed to like hold anything. Well, it is, but it's designed to uh, put baskets. So now we have to find uh, the right baskets to go in here. And then we can have uh, storage on top of here in like individual baskets. It's just designed to stop the baskets from falling off. And uh, it's, it's pretty firm on there. I think I can, I can probably get it a little firmer, uh, but uh, for now, this is it. Yeah, it looks good. Next on the list is putting in a bunch of shelving. Uh, to do that, we have to cut the shelving first. So when we were in town, we bought a bunch of this wood and we're just gonna uh, cut it and we're gonna kind of put rudimentary shelving in now and kind of upgrade it as we go on. Uh, so just a couple of quick cuts. I measured twice. Probably should have had some hearing protection on. That was a mistake. Yeah, I always remember once it once we're doing it because yeah. <laughs> it's so loud that we forget before. All right, back to the boat. Maybe a, a drink first. Yeah. It's literally like 35 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. In Fahrenheit, I believe the technical term is hot. <laughs> Now that we've cut the shelving, we gotta stuff it under here. So right now it's just all like from here to here, there's no shelf and we're just gonna put one shelf in here. In theory, it should be pretty easy. There's a bunch of stuff under here that we have to kind of redo. And one of the things that we ran into is the drain for the sinks uh, is down here and I have to cut a space in the shelf for the drain for the sink to go down, which is no big deal. But if I'm gonna be cutting a space, it's not gonna be for the three quarter inch drain that we have on the sink currently, because that thing gets clogged frequently. So we're gonna make a, put a new through hole in that is an inch and a half uh, or 38 millimeters. So we can run inch and a half or 38 millimeter hose straight down from the sink. Uh, and it, it'll be much better. Come here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So under here, we have our sink drain and it goes down to a three quarter inch pipe and then it goes down here to the through hall that is right here. 
So I need to remove this through hole and then re-drill it to make it bigger uh, and then run my pipe up here to this and then I cut a hole in the shelf. The shelf is going to go right here, under here. And so that'll give us more storage options, more everything options, and it'll just be a lot better. And what we're trying to do is increase our storage. Everything should have a place. On this boat, nothing has a place because we have nowhere to put it. So that's what this is all about. Anyway, let's get started. I suppose it would help if I loosened it instead of tightening it. Mm -hmm. Generally. <laughs> This comes off really easily, just off of here. Ew. <laughs> we can just put this in here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So have I told you yet that it's really warm? <laughs> Slightly hot. <laughs> I took a shower in my own sweat. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we just have to remove this through hole to put a bigger one in. So Darcy's going to go underneath the boat between the two hulls on the stand up paddle board, right underneath where that through hull is. And I'm going to stay up here, give it some love, and then he'll catch it underneath. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> Can't wait for this to be done and in time to go to the pool. There's a uh, potluck happening today at the marina. So I've made some cupcakes, even though it's so hot, but I just really felt like chocolate. <laughs> so that was a good excuse. As will be the pool and some drinks. Oh. Hold on. Now we just need to do the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Step one done. Here's the hole saw. Here's the template that I just made. I just kind of drilled the hole saw through here. And that allows me to have this not like walk all over the place so I can screw it up. Uh, so I'm just going to attempt to use this. <laughs> It worked! Yay! That's a bigger hole than I thought we were going to be putting, but hey! <laughs> it's the right size, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the right size. Phew. We need a vacuum stat. Here, I have my pre-cut shelf, and in theory, it should just go in and be okay. I mean, i got to put the supports on and everything, but it should be okay. So let's check it out. Yay! So that's essentially where it goes, and obviously I have to put like the shelf supports in here. Um, but uh, looks like this is going to work. Uh, if you come in here, the hole back here is going to be for the drain. So the drain is going to go from the sink here, and it's going to 90 here and go back into this hole here. And this is just cut out so this can be removed easy. Um, and that's the water. Filter. And this is this is our water filter. Yeah. So we can drink out of yep. a tap up there. Extra but little tap. <laughs> it's it's looking pretty good. Uh, so we're probably gonna call it there for the day. Uh, it's probably around 4:30 ish, and there's a potluck dinner yeah. that we're gonna go to. So we're gonna go do that, and then probably mess around and do some cleanup because we're kind of under the gun. We we complained about it being too hot for a couple of days and didn't get a whole lot of work done, <laughs> and now it's like hotter. But we have no choice but to get the work done. And I was just telling you that that I found the secret to doing work in hot climates, and it's the same as when it's like absolutely freezing out. It's sucking it up and getting it done anyway. So now, <laughs> that, we've, now that we know the secret, <laughs> now we'll finally be able to get some work done. <laughs> yeah, these next two days should be quite busy. <laughs> It's really cool, we can see the eclipse. It's only partial here, we didn't think we were gonna to get to see any of it, but you can definitely see like a nice little sliver out the side of the sun.
Your own Eclipse cam. Yeah, it's so cool. It's half, almost half covered now. Except we can't really see it too well with the camera. The birds are all acting like it's uh, the sun's about to set. Yeah, something's happening. They're, they're getting all noisy. Yeah. I can definitely feel that it's cooler. I, I don't think that's just in my head. <laughs> I think that's what we need to do now. That's how we deal with the, the with heat the problem. Heat. We just cover half the sun with the moon. <laughs> <laughs> We're down in the starboard hall now after watching the eclipse. I've been working for a couple of hours. Everything just takes so much longer in the heat, but we're making headway here. So this is our washing machine. So this is the area, like a clothes washer. This is the area right underneath our washing machine. And it used to have um, these here. So like this was here uh, and I've cut this since cut this out uh, today. And then also this was, was here. So it like made up like um, a small opening up here and then all this was like empty space and this used to be like a big ice cooler or something like that like a, an ice chest uh but it's not anymore and we don't need it as that anymore so we wanted it as storage originally the washing machine the clothes washer was supposed to go in here um and we checked to make sure uh none of this is is structural stuff at all um so we could take all of it out uh and we're putting in shelves so i've put in one shelf already uh which is right here and we just tested it to make sure it can hold our, our basket of potatoes and, and other stuff. And then there's gonna be another shelf that's gonna be put on right here uh, that I've cut as well. And that'll have, I guess, three spaces. So the space here, the space here, and the space in, like, in between the floor and the shelf. And the space in between the floor and the shelf is just big enough to fit a full uh, jug of oil. And we have a bunch of oil and we don't really have a good space to put it. Um, and so it just ends up in like on like the bathroom floor and stuff like that. Uh, one of the spare bathrooms that we don't use. Uh, so now we're going to be able to organize the oil in here a little bit. Uh, the old boat heater, the diesel heater is in here that we've taken apart and we don't use. But we're going to keep that just in case we, we go back up north at any point. Um, but we should be able to fit quite a bit of oil in here. And then the, this, the middle spot was designed uh, so that we could fit two big cans stacked on top of each other. So any can storage, uh, instead of it being like under the bench seat, the pink bench seat that we made, um, instead of it being under that, uh, we can now move it to here so it's easier to access so you don't have to uh, put in, or you don't have to take out the, the cushion and all that and crawl, crawl there. So as you can tell, it is like baking hot. I'm dripping with sweat, uh, but the show must go on. So now that this is all cut out, uh, I have to put in, uh, two more of these uh, and then put the shelf in. Uh, so I've already marked the holes and like pre-drilled the holes for these because the way the shelf has to go in uh, to fit, because um, it doesn't, this doesn't cut all the way to the side, uh, I have to kind of angle it a little bit. So it's gonna be a bit of a pain, but the shelf is gonna get in there. So let's do that now. This is the shelf piece that's going in. There's a little notch cut out of it, so it can only go in one way. And it, it, when I test fit it before cutting a bunch of this stuff out, it was a total pain to get in. And I have a feeling it's gonna be that again. This mini sledgehammer has like been my favorite tool of this job. That's a convenient shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Filled it up already. <laughs> yeah. I cut it, like, well, <laughs> but that just means it's harder to put in. Wait, so are we going to fiberglass them in there? Yeah, yeah, we'll fiberglass them. Probably should have fiberglassed them not in here. Yeah. But now we're going to fiberglass <laughs> them in here because they're not, they're not leaving. <laughs> so I've already... Uh, I've had these up in there just to make sure I got the holes in the right spot and the holes started and everything uh, because, um, and I have to take them out because I have to put this in at an angle 
So it had to go below the level of the shelf and then get brought up. Uh, so now I can put them in and end this <laughs> job. It's been so hot, but. Now that all the supports are in, I can just tap it down with a hammer uh, and then have it resting on top of the supports. And then I can put the rest of the screws in uh, knowing that everything is square and, and going to go in and nothing's weird. It's a bit weird to me still. <laughs> you got to give it a, a second. To relax. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get bolted, bolted down. Now that this is basically in place, uh, I'm just going to clean it up a bit and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like all finished and cleaned up. I'm probably going to clean it up and I'm probably going to clean myself up. <laughs> and then I'll show you what it looks like all cleaned up. <sighs> Time for a pool swim or a, a shower or something. A shower in the pool while, I don't know, it's just all the, all the cooling down things are going to be needed. <laughs> so like I said, the, the really cool thing about this is that uh, we had essentially just a big pit of storage that the lip was up here and so you had to like reach in here and then all the way down and it just wasn't used for really anything. So now we have uh, three different shelf spaces that we can use and it's going to be awesome. Plus the washing machine on top and our new baskets. Oh yeah, we still have to set those baskets up. We do, we've just got them sitting there. So how about I uh, finish up here? I clean up because <laughs> I am gross and this is, needs to be cleaned up and then uh, we'll film a little bit down here and then we'll do the baskets. Yeah and All then right. we'll fiberglass the wood down here tomorrow? Uh, probably tomorrow yeah. All right. yeah. Getting lots of extra storage. Oh yeah. So it's taken us probably three hours but we finally found the absolute mecca of containers and put together this contraption of containers and boxes and lids and all sorts of things and this is what we've decided we're going to buy to put on top of the washing machine and it's awesome we hope we can like grab that cameras and all sorts of things hopefully that's the idea but that we're going to have a spot for everything now and keep the boat tidy and clean and it's all nice and stackable yeah and get to everything nice and easy so here's what the storage looks like close to finished uh, Yvette is definitely asleep right now <laughs> it's pretty late uh, but we have the two big baskets in the bottom and then one big basket and then all these. We're not quite exactly sure how we're going to fasten them down yet. Uh, we know the big baskets in the bottom don't move. Uh, we were actually able to put the laundry detergent uh, in there, uh, as you can see, and it's pretty tight. But it's, uh, it's working well so far, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get it tied down somewhat, strapped down, something down, so it doesn't slide around when we're underway. I think this is the end of the episode. We're both exhausted. She's sleeping. Uh, so just want to thank everybody for all the support. Um, and a huge thanks to our Patreons. Uh, we literally couldn't do the upcoming episode without you guys. Because that's the first one that the new editing software is going to be used for that you guys got us. So thanks very much. And have a great day. See you next Friday.